Well, the day has arrived. It was so exciting with the Isle of Man Airport because the Isle of Man Commonwealth Games team are just about to leave the Isle of Man, heading to Australia. And I'm with the swimming team now, Steph Brew. Is it nerves? Is it excitement? How, what are the emotions and how are you feeling right now? Um, very excited, but a bit nervous at the same time. Like, it's my first Commonwealth game, so there has to be a bit of nerves there, but I'm definitely a lot very excited. Guy, as same same for Steph. Obviously, you're going an awfully long way. So it's really exciting. It's a massive opportunity for you. How are you feeling? I'm actually really excited to get out there now. I think with the weather the last few days as well, to have a bit of a change of scenery and be a lot warmer, just in the right climate for what we're going to be doing in the next few weeks. Obviously, it's not just the two of you going. We've got Laura joining. You've got Charlotte. You know, you've got obviously Neva as well. So, I mean, are you looking forward to being together as a team? Yeah, we haven't seen them for a while. Have we? Yeah, I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen Charlotte for like a year. Year, Laura yeah. probably before Christmas and then I think I saw Neve and Neve was over for the team launch as well so it's been a while but I think we're excited to get together and then for the girls as well to have the relay events that that's going to be good for them to be a team for that. Managers and coach so Rose McKinley and also Lee Holland. This is a long journey ahead now. It is, it is. We've got a really um, busy couple of days ahead of us. Well not busy because we'll be sitting, sitting on the plane but um, yeah it's just tackling it all in the right way, making sure they're hydrated, eating sensibly and um, we've, we've just got to do it, haven't we, to get there? Now, I can't leave this interview without wishing you a very happy birthday for tomorrow. Thank you, Jo. You're going to be celebrating on a plane? On a plane. The whole birthday spent on an aeroplane. We won't talk about how old. No, no, we won't. No, we'll we, we, definitely won't. Well, we will have a look at the nails, though. But I don't oh. know if we can have a close-up oh, on the nails here, but uh, tradition, been, isn't it? it? It had to be done. A it tradition with the done. Manx flag on the nails. Yeah, Lee, let's have a look at your nails. Come fall. on. <laughs> Such a letdown. How are you feeling? Excited. Um, I don't have to worry about the nerves. I've sort of done most of my bit now. I can pass it over and let these guys do what they do very, very well. The the training, the, the preparation has gone really well. Um, like I said, they're looking, they're looking about as good as I think I've ever seen them. And at three weeks out, that's exciting. So it's what's the going to dial in better than that. So what's the plan for the next two weeks? Just live the athlete lifestyle, really. Um, they can focus on what they need to focus on without any of the, you know, without any of the distractions from work or just being at home. You know, they're, they're all they've got one job, and I know talking to these two, you know, what a what a nice position that's to be in for, for two and a half weeks to just go out, and just focus on getting yourself ready. And you also, I mean, I've just been talking to you downstairs about this, which is very interesting, is the advice that you're giving your athletes is no social media once they start competing. Yeah, I think I think that's just about uh, just, just taking away another distraction, do you know what I mean? It's one, it's one less thing to worry about. So. So part of the Badman team are gathered together now at the Isle of Man Airport, runners are in the Isle of Man because we are on our way to Australia. Well, I say we, I mean, I'm not quite out there going out there with you yet, but I'm so excited for you. But I guess there's a lot of different emotions going on. Just been talking to the swimming team about that. And uh, Kristen, I have to come to you first. I don't want to make you cry. I know this is really hard for you, but you are just leaving your baby. How old is your baby? She's just turned two. So okay. She's, uh, she's old enough to understand what's going on. I've explained to her that we're going to Australia and uh, she's going to stay with her grandma and her grandpa. She's actually really looking forward to it because she's going to have a great time while she's over here. And the event itself, I've not had a chance to chat to you about it. I mean, <laughs> how do you feel? You're representing the Isle of Man at the pinnacle of sport, the best of what you can obviously go from for the Isle of Man. How are you feeling ahead of it? I'm really excited. It's my third Games, so I kind of know what to expect when we get out there now, but it's uh, it's first time in Australia, so that'll be a bit different, but I'm just, I just want to get out there and show what we can do. It's been a long run up to this now, Jessica, hasn't it? And everybody is just waiting to get out there and get started um, what have you got planned for this next two weeks what's what's going to happen what's the format with your training and your coaching now um, so we're going to start with sort of like keep training up until um, a few weeks before so um, obviously just getting used to sort of time zone weather um, all things like that and Ben um, we, we met first of all at the Island Games in Gotland you're taking on a slightly different role here obviously competing but it's you know stranger to the games how are you feeling ahead of it yeah I'm just really excited I did and can't, really, can't wait to get out there now. Um, it's my second Games after Glasgow um, and that was a massive learning experience for me. Um, but hopefully I can use that experience to good effect this time. What have you been really focusing on um, ahead of the Games? I think just having a really good training block and just being that bit more experience with my own game. Well, we'll be looking obviously to uh, getting you some exposure with our media coverage while we're out there. But safe travels, all the very best for the next two weeks and we'll see you in April in Australia.